Hi there, friend. You want to learn programming? Maybe you want to start. Maybe you tried already. Maybe you're going throughout the journey. You're just starting now. And you're maybe struggling, right? Or uh, maybe you're doubting yourself. And maybe you're wondering if that thing is for you. Should you be doing that? Are you smart enough, etc., etc.? And the main reason why you're having these doubts is because the thing that you're trying to learn, programming, is actually very hard. Now, the reason why your perception is probably different is because you are influenced by so many people online which are telling you otherwise. You're influenced by courses such as learn become a programmer in two weeks, in two seconds, just buy my course and I will make you a programmer in three weeks, in six months, in three months, whatever. This is all a lie. Uh, this is all a lie. Your perception is skewed by these types of people who are trying to monetize things and who are trying to ca cash grab, basically. I don't blame them at all. That's just business. That's how it is. But the danger of this is that it's creating uh, such unrealistic expectations that a lot of people, because of these uh, titles, because of these hyperbolas, because of the, all of these things, they're basically losing motivation. They're actually failing in their journeys. You know, I've been a programmer most of my life. In 2008, I started professionally working. So how many years that is? I don't know, 16, 17 years by now. And I actually still suck at many things and I still learn new things every day. I sometimes learn old things that I used to know again because I didn't use them for a while. But either way, programming is hard and a mastery of any skill today is hard. Of course, learning fundamentals, learning how to replicate something, learning some steps, you know, I want to build a HTML page, so I'm going to first do this and this and this. All of that is fine. You might get a, a little bit of a, 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 you know, motivation boost and it's going to feel smooth. But then at one point in time, you're going to get very overwhelmed. You're going to get overwhelmed because this industry is really large. There's many technologies solving many different problems. There's many different types of problems which require these technologies. And uh, as you go throughout your career, these technologies are going to be chipping in slowly as you, uh, you know, stumble upon this problem. So, of course, this is not to say that you have to learn all of this. We learn tools when we need them. So just as well as when you learn how to use a hammer in real life, a jigsaw or any other real tool, if you ever learn to paint a wall, you learn that because you needed to paint a wall. You didn't just wake up one day and say, hey, let me learn how to paint a wall. So if programming is hard, that's actually good because you are on the right path. Programming is actually hard, but you need to detach yourself from the all of the endless tutorials which are trying to tell you otherwise or even sell you things. Hey, just buy my course and programming is suddenly going to become easy. It will not become easy. No matter which course you are enrolled into, no matter who you follow, no matter who you like, you might dislike my personality. You might watch this video now and say, you know, I'm not going to, I'm going to dislike this video. Actually, if you like it, please hit that like button. But you get the point, right? You might like someone else. And that is the only difference between these courses. You can watch my courses. You can watch someone else's courses. The difference is marginal. The only difference really is do you like to hear my voice and see my face rather than someone else's. So if you want to become a programmer, of course, and you know this already, you have to build things. If you want to become a carpenter, if you want to become a tennis player, if you want to become a, a, a master in a gym and, and get uh, you know pumped up, you have to do the work, right? So stop seeking for these uh, things. Stop asking these questions, right? Like, what is the best way to become a programmer? What is the easiest way? What is? There's no easiest way. The easiest way, if there would be one, if I had to be forced to answer this thing, would be stick to a single resource and build things. There's nothing, absolutely nothing even close uh, that, that gets close to building things. I remember in um, maybe when I was very young, around age eight, 1999 or 1998, I was, uh, I was a kid, obviously, I'm 35 now, and uh, I was writing Visual Basic uh, 6, and I was writing some PHP 2 or 3, I don't remember back then, Pascal, Cobol, Fortran, a lot of these languages, even some, uh, even some low-level assembly on Motorola 6000, I believe, I don't remember, 8-bit CPU. And I was so curious, man. I was so mind-blown, even building terminal applications, building things in Pascal, I remember, like this, this blue terminal, just, you know, you type some text and you get some output. I was so curious, man. It was so mind-blowing to me. It was beautiful. 
And I don't see that sometimes with people coming to my stream. I don't see that with beginners. I'm not saying, I'm not generalizing to everybody. I'm sure that there's people who are mind blown and very interested to learn that I, but I don't feel that passion. People almost seems to me come to, into this industry for the, they want to rush through. They want to start making money. They want, I get that. You want to, but there's no such way. You will not find that path. And as, as long as you keep going through these YouTube videos, as long as you keep going, through these endless courses of Udemy and YouTube and Frontend Masters and Pluralsight and Coursera and this streamer, that streamer, this YouTuber, whatever, you will simply keep failing. You're gonna keep procrastinating. You're gonna keep wasting time because again, programming is hard. And actually the question is, what is hard about programming? Is it the code that's hard? Is it is, is it hard to memorize an if statement, a function keyword, a switch statement? No, that's not the hard part. Being an engineer, calling yourself an engineer and developer, two different things. When you're becoming a programmer, your body, your brain is going through a huge transformation of your thinking process is changing, your critical problem uh, 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 skills are, are, are kind of being developed, your logical skills you're learning how to plan, how to approach things, how to talk to other intellectuals. So it's a huge process of learning. It's not just, oh, I know how to write a div or a, or a, a body tag or how to inject a script in an HTML page. No, that is not being a programmer. So being a programmer and learning programming along the way and all of the tools and the concepts and writing good code, writing readable code, testing and all of it just takes time, like everything else. You can learn how to hold a racket in three days but you're not gonna become like Federer and Novak and Adal probably ever. So mastery and becoming good at programming is very hard. So to summarize this video, stop seeking for ma magic wand, it doesn't exist. Stop switching from courses to courses thinking, oh, this is gonna change everything. If I just get this course, it's gonna change. It's not, it's gonna be the same recycled knowledge, same recycled content just spoken by some other person that you might like or dislike more. So build things, draw things on the paper, mix up the bottom up and top down approach of learning, find what works best for you and build, build, build and build. If you need motivation, try to find other people who are in the same position as you, group up, use Google Hangouts, use free tools to communicate, learn to talk, use Discord groups, talk to each other, try to build things together, try to push each other and I promise you way greater results than just wasting time seeking for these magic things that don't exist. I wish you best. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Join my stream, sign up at programmer.network platform, and I'm very happy to give you a hand. Have a good one, guys, and be well. Cheers. Bye -bye.